In just a matter of hours, the polls will be open for the first round of voting in the gender equality referendum. Good evening, everyone. I'm Charisma Robinson. I'm Keisha Adderley. Thanks for joining us tonight. Topping the news, tomorrow, hundreds are expected to turn out to say yay or nay to those gender equality bills. They're designed to allow the children of foreign Bahamian women to obtain citizenship just as their Bahamian fathers are able to pass it on. And the bills will also allow a Bahamian man to pass on citizenship to his child born out of wedlock and to make it unlawful to discriminate against a person on the grounds of sex, which is defined as being male or female. Now, as the countdown continues the gender to the gender equality vote, Arla Don Davis tells us tonight the parliamentary registration minister and registration officials are looking forward to a smooth process. Security will be strictly enforced when hundreds of police officers, defense force officers, poll workers, and others head to the Thomas A. Robinson National Stadium on Tuesday to vote on the four gender equality bills during the advance poll. Minister with Responsibility for the Parliamentary Registration, Dr. Bernard Nottage, says despite the noise in the market, change is good for the country. People uh, have the opportunity to vote for something which is uh, needed, uh, would be welcome. Uh, all civilized countries, particularly those with uh, democratic governments, uh, seek to provide uh, equality and, and equity between the sexes, citizenship for uh, the children of their own citizens. And so what we're seeking to do is not unusual. During an interview, Parliamentary Commissioner Sherlyn Hall gave us an update on the amount of persons expected to vote. On what my computer analyst told me, there are about 2,700 persons now on the register for New Providence, and um, 665 for Grand Bahama, and 128 for overseas locations, embassies, consulates, and other foreign missions. What about international students? International students would be included in those persons, but 128 who are overseas, and it is not every student who uh, is abroad. It's only every student who completes the Form J and whose name is on the 2012 register. It's his second referendum as parliamentary commissioner. However, the gaming referendum was more of an opinion poll, while this one is binding, meaning government cannot come back and change the results. Despite the difference, Hall says the process will be carried out in decency and in order. All of the 23 constituencies will be placed in various rooms at the stadium. So we expect everything to go orderly and the police presence will be there, and um, there will be a team for each of the 23 constituencies in New Providence. Even though there have been some last-minute changes, officials say poll workers are ready to carry out their duties. Authorities are also encouraging all Bahamians to come and to register for the 2017 general election. LaDawn Davis, ZNS Network News.